hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video we gonna build a chatbot interface using next.js so that you can talk to different model from the same interface so let's see and first talk to gpt 3.5 i'll say write a sample Python function and okay okay let's talk to Gemini let's ask the same question again here okay let's talk to Ko here I'll say hi and then let's ask the same question here okay and last let's ask to open assistant by hugging face yeah you can see all of four in action on the same page so you don't have to you know navigate to different windows so let's see how to build this uh, I'm here in my Visual Studio code and I have some code already written so before you move ahead and understand this you need to gather this information go here API Google API key for Gemini then hugging face API key make sure you have the read access and then open AI API key once you have these four api keys then you can move ahead and see the code section but before i move into that i would like to show you the vercel ai sdk i have used this vercel ai sdk to build uh, this kind of a chat interface the api is coming from vercel ai sdk so if you go here uh, you will see that there are different providers uh, through which you can talk to large language model uh, for example if you click here on go here then all the steps are written how to uh, write the backend and how to wire the backend with uh, ui so i have used go here uh, google hugging face and open ai to build this interface the first thing you need to set up is your next project the way you can do it is using npx create next hyphen app at the rate latest and it will create app at the rate latest this will create a new application for you then you need to install few packages open ai then go here ai then ai from vercel and then google generative ai uh, and there will be hugging face as well yeah hugging face interface so once you install these five packages you will good to go i'm using lucid react for the <coughs> arrow and tailwind css for uh, the css and styling our application start from this page tsx which renders an element which is chat this chat tsx or chat component uses some external component from sad cn so you need to install input a button scroll area avatar and the select from sad cn if you see here uh, first we uses this uh, use chat from vercel ai and use state to you know uh, set the model once selected here we have a scroll area this scroll area shows the messages by user and uh, ai so it loops over the messages list and then you know uh, render the element accordingly for user and for assistant 
here in the downside we have a select from where you can select uh, appropriate model open ai gpt 3.5 uh, google gemini co here and open assistant from hugging face and we have input box and a button so once you hit the send button that goes to this api now this model is uh, coming from this select so we dynamically select the model once the model is selected this use chat functionality from vercel selects the model that has these api routes so this api routes are here under the app api folder we have co here route ts again this code is coming from uh, this part so yeah this is this is the same part i just you know have added few things like you know if there is no environment key then we'll show that missing go here api key and i have just put this into try and catch so the same way we have gemini uh, then hugging face these all four routes are coming from vercel ai and we have wired them to this uh, chat so this again the api route is selected dynamically based on the user selection and then it passed to this user chat function it handles everything for us and in this way it shows the elements and select and input where you can write and see the output here uh, furthermore we have used this uh, markdown uh, to wrap the content so that you see these things okay uh, not from here but if you see here yeah this is the code block so this is how you can utilize vercel ai sdk to build this chat interface and i you know often run this in a background when I, whenever i do some freelance work so that you know if i want to ask something and if i don't get the correct answer i can just switch to gemini and ask the same question or switch to co here and ask the same question to you know see which one works and you know compare them as well so i hope this video is informative to you and again the code used here is available on my github and you can download it from there and in case you do so please consider giving it a star that helps thank you for watching peace